The visit is in commemoration to the International Day of the Girl Child, which focuses attention on the power of adolescent girl. It was basically an interactive session between the girls from the five selected primary schools, including FCT, as well as the representatives of the UNICEF, Federal Ministry of Education, and the high-level women advocates Hilwa at one side, and the representative of the wife of the president at the other side. The children directed their questions to the wife of the president on her plans to address the challenges confronting the adolescent in order to ensure that their future is bright. The representatives of the UNICEF and the Ministry of Education have resolved to strengthen the synergy with the wife of the president to support in girl child education in Nigeria. Uh, I'm pleased being here for UNICEF and supporting at the end of the table these strong women who are, are advocates and role models in their own states and communities. And the federal government has also taken actions towards uh, ensuring that the rights of the girl child are protected. The wife of the president said she will not relent until Nigerian girls have the opportunities they not only deserve, but that would their peers in other developing countries enjoy. And we must eliminate the situation where children themselves are having to give birth to children. Our girls should be nurtured to thrive and survive, and they should be allowed to grow to adulthood before being married off to begin motherhood. Highlight of the event was the confirmation of the Grand Petrol of high-level women advocate Hilwa to the wife of the president. From the State House, Aliu Kabir, NTA News.